To this experiment is to determine the coefficient of discharge by using a pitot tube. So the apparatus are SM150.13, then we have SM150. So to find out the coefficient of discharge, we have used the formula CD equal to actual discharge by theoretical discharge. So the actual discharge you will get it from the rotameter, and the theoretical discharge will get by the formula area into velocity. And the velocity you will get it by the formula V equal to root over 2Z delta H. This device is called SM150, made by Gund, Germany. This base module provides the basic equipment for individual experiment, the supply of water in the closed circuit, the determination of volumetric flow rate, and the positioning of the experimental unit on the working surface of the base module and the collecting of dripping water. This device here is called Pitot Tube, which is a flow measurement device used to measure the velocity. And this device comes with SM150.13 made by Gund Hamburg. Since we are doing an experiment on Pitot Tube, we have to plug in the manometer pipe to the Pitot Tube. So we have connected the pitot tube to the manometer and we need to remove the bubble so that we can start the experiment. And now you can see the reading. Now after complete shut off of the experiment, we can see the two readings. That is the pressure head at the inlet and the outlet. This we can use for calculation. And then we have the volumetric flow rate in the rotameter, which is around 360. And this balloons can be used for calculation. After taking down all the readings, there is a pressure head at inlet and outlet, then volumetric flow rate. We can find out the inlet head, outlet head, then pressure loss, then we can easily find out the coefficient of discharge. And this device is called Nozzle, which comes with SM150.13. This is also a flow measurement device. This device here is called an orifice meter. This is also a flow measurement device and this device also comes with SM150.13. For other experiments like to find out the discharge using orifice meter and also nozzle with our flow measurement device, we can remove the P2 tube section from the SM150.13 and we can attach the device like I have shown in this video and then we can connect the manometer pipe to those inlet and outlet and we can continue the experiment with the same procedure this is how it looks like when the experiment is running you can see um, an orifice meter is connecting to the manometer pipe and then manometers are showing the pressure heads of inlet and outlet and also the rotameter is showing the volumetric flow rate and you can see the outflow of water <music>